Hi, my name is Ethan. I read and reviewed a new book uh, as part of an online marketing class I'm taking at the University of Colorado at Colorado Springs. That book is called The Mesh by Lisa Gansky, subtitled Why the Future of Business is Sharing. And The Mesh is about share platforms. It's about access to goods and services rather than ownership of them outright. Uh, it's about web and mobile and social networks. It's about layers of information. It's about data analysis uh, made possible through increased customer interactions while they're sharing your goods and services. Uh, they come back repeatedly. Uh, as a natural consequence of all that uh, data analysis, you can produce uh, offers that are more and more timely, relevant, and personal for these customers. And ultimately, the mesh is about threats to traditional business models. Uh, as well as opportunities that exist to create new ones. Um, people are sharing cars, bikes, clothes, apartments, condos, office spaces. Uh, in one great example called uh, Crushpad, they're sharing uh, grapes and grapevines and winemaking equipment. Uh, so uh, other companies included our Zipcar, Netflix, uh, ThreadUp, uh, Rumorama, any number of them. She included probably 20 references and a, a dozen specific mini case studies. Uh, but rather than get really detailed about the book, um, let's ask the author herself. Um, Lisa, you're really not an author. Uh, you haven't written any books before. And um, so why'd you write The Mesh? Why now? What's happening out there? You're right. I'm not an author. I mean, by DNA or whatever it is that drives people to write books. But um, I wasn't really... I had this idea that the world was moving to a, a different, there was a different sort of cocktail being brewed, um, with social really having such important implications, and also with the mobile web, because we walk around, you know, dripping with this communication device that has GPS and it's on us. And so, um, but also, truthfully, I was feeling myself in my own life that I have too much stuff and I was hearing other people and a lot of it I think got really provoked by the recession so people started to talk about um, just trying to lighten their load or how they might consider doing other things and I got really interested in, in just um, looking first outside the US because a lot of things for bike sharing and car sharing and peer-to-peer -peer lending happened first in Europe and so I started to familiarize myself but I kept having this personal quiet voice in my head that wasn't so quiet all the time that said like that's sort of nice for other people I don't really see myself doing it um, and when I started to realize just the infrastructure the all the tools were in place to make to take the pain out of walking out of this building uh, on Townsend Street and and be, being able to get a taxi that's close by or even share a taxi with someone or pop a ride you know share a ride back to the East Bay I thought um, it becomes really simple with mobile phones and, and these tracking devices that we all have. So it occurred to me that the, the friction went out of uh, sharing. Sure, I can see that. Um, so what does this mean for the marketer? Uh, what, what new opportunities does the mesh present? As a marketer and as, a, as an entrepreneur, I'm very excited about what's possible here because the opportunity is to have a lot more um, understanding of who your customer is. You, you, see, you, you have an opportunity to present fresh offers very in a very temporal moment. You're either on your block or close to your, your store. Uh, you know that they've been looking for something because either they reached out to you or you've gotten you know, some alert from some loyalty program or something like that. There's the ability as a marketer to reach people in, in, with a much more um, relevant, fresh, uh, and location appropriate offer. Sure, it's not just about the right offer at the right time, it's also uh, in the right place. So uh, where are we in all this? How far along are we toward your vision of the mesh? Um, it, it seems from the book that there are several viable business models already up and running. What we're starting to see is is sort of the, the klutzy original, like if you look back at early Groupon offers, uh, even six months ago, and what you're going to see in three or six months from now, it's going to change radically. The whole idea, at least for me in business, has always been make mistakes early and inexpensive and way before your competition. And if you do that, you know, you learn fast. If you don't do that and you wait to have everything perfect or you think that this is it, you know, shame on you because we live in a very uh, uh, 
imperishable reality in terms of the technology and all these sorts of things are giving us new opportunities. So the business models are exciting and fundamental. I think it's, I think that's what I'm I'm most excited about. You know, I really felt your excitement and enthusiasm for your concept as I read the book. I enjoyed it very much. Thanks a lot for your time, Lisa. Again, the book is called The Mesh, Why the Future of Business is Sharing by Lisa Gansky, and you can learn more online at meshing.it. That's meshing.it.